Greetings, Minecrafters, and welcome to another exciting Minecraft discussion. Today, my name is Kimberly Quinn, and that's little Giovanni back there on the trail. He loves to scratch himself on the rough snow, like, because it's actually pretty cold, and it's like 10 degrees, so we may be quick. Um, although, for Northern Vermont, I wouldn't say it's a heat wave, but that's not certainly not as cold as we do get. It, it once got down to negative 52 when our kids were little. They canceled school because the buses wouldn't start. True story. True story. Anyway, okay, so today I want to talk about let go of as much as possible. I mean, there's there, there's the deep stuff, and there's the not-so-deep stuff. So we'll start with the not-so-deep stuff, because one way to let go is to let go of the need to be right. I need mean, so many people. You know, I, I don't know if you've had this experience, but you're out in the world, and sometimes people just have this need, and it's something that's so stupid. Like, it's not even important and they just have to say oh well i just read a more current article that says that 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 you know and it's something that's just like who cares i mean the time the times when it like does matter is if there's something integrity based obviously because the integrity thing is a whole nother level of its own and obviously we should always be our most integral selves so if somebody is you know falsely accused that says you know i heard so and so said and you say no i was standing right there they never said that that's different that's, that would be a case of don't let it go stand up, right? But for the most part, if it's something that you know more about or, you know, whatever, who cares? Who cares if it's, if it's your area of expertise and, you know, you know that the, you know, the real truth on the stats or whatever it is, let that person be right. Does it really matter? It really doesn't. Let them have the stage in the conversation. Who cares? It's so much more to be important to be kind than right in most circumstances. Again, the integrity thing is, is a whole nother level. But, you know, as far as actual content and, you know, and, you know, I saw this one. Who cares? Let it go. So that's the first one because when we let go of stuff, it frees up mental space to be loving and kind and also creative and also just to enjoy your life and live your best life and work all cluttered up with junk. Wayne Dyer just says, clear the junk. There's so much junk. The more we can let go of, the more space there is. It's like kind of like when we feel great when, in this, and when we do spring cleaning, clean a, a closet that hasn't been cleaned in years or, or create space in a room that is now inviting because it's not all cluttered. Well, it's the same thing with the mind. So if we can get rid of as much of that as possible and let it go, it also just feels good and it opens us up for our, for our own new information and new opportunities and creativity, new people, all of it. It's just, I don't know if people get how sometimes get how important it is to to let go of as much as possible and then of course there's all the deeper stuff because people don't realize sometimes I think only because I hear it out there in the world that how important the whole idea of of letting go of old of the past is so important too and a lot sometimes people don't like the word forgiveness and that's fine so change it to let it go but they the, the one I think the main reason they don't want to, oh, look, there's a tree across the thing. That's okay. We can go over that, but not right now when we're filming. We'll do that on the way back. Okay, so they, they, I think often what holds people back from letting the deeper stuff go is that they think it gives, you know, the person who hurt them, the uh, offender perpetrator, whether it's a small thing, you know, it's a smaller thing, or it's a really bigger thing, like somebody you know, was abused as a, as a child, and it's a, you know, maybe, come on, Giovanni, come over here. Hey. Come on. <clears throat> that they think it gives the, the, the person who hurt them on the scale of hurt, there's a little bit of hurt, middle hurt, and like, you know, trauma hurt, that it gives that person a pass. And of course it does not give that person a pass. You know, they did what they did. They know what they did. And it, the thing is, there's nothing we can do to make them, you know, care. Sometimes they don't care, and that's even more hurtful. So there's nothing we can really do about that. So the best gift we can give ourselves is to let it go and move forward. It absolutely does not make what they did okay or anything like that. And Claudia Black, I've said that in episodes before, <clears throat> and I love her. She was one of the pioneers back in the 80s of the ACOA movement, Adult Children of Alcoholics. And I tell you, that's what did it for me with the whole forgiveness thing because those of you who've been, who've been watching know that I had a very turbulent, sometimes violent childhood just chock full of you know shame and abuse and stuff also some good times with my rooftop friend and things like that but as far as my actual in my home it was a lot of addiction a lot of mess a lot of you know abuse just bad stuff right and so 
the thing is, I really get it. And um, when Claudia Black came to St. Mike's years ago, I, I was 18, you know, first year of college and standing room only in there. And her words are what did it for me as far as being able to let go of stuff because she right out, she came out and said, you know, a lot of people think that forgiveness has to do with forgetting. You know, to, see, we hear that a lot, right? To forgive is to forget. And she came right out, it's a little tiny thing. She says, forgiveness, look at that brook, it's so beautiful. Forgiveness has absolutely nothing to do with forgetting. Nothing. A person could even you know, be in another country, they could be in jail, they could be dead. Like, you can't count on that, right? Forgiveness also has nothing to do with forgetting. She says, forgiveness has everything to do with remembering and choosing to move forward. And I love the part how she said, choosing, choosing, choice, my choice. <clears throat> because when we choose it, we take our control back. We take, you know, what? I'm not going to give any more to that person by walking around and the grocery store while I'm, you know, shopping for, for food, thinking about that thing that happened last year, two years, 10 years ago. Then that person who's, who's potentially walking around, maybe even sitting in a lawn chair in the Bahamas, completely unaware that they're living rent-free in your head, that just gives them more, right? And again, we can't you know, hold out for an apology because they could be in another country, they could be in jail, they could be dead. So to take, it's the biggest gift we can give ourselves is to let it go. If you don't like the word forgive, don't use it. Just let it go. I'm moving forward. I'm taking my power back because I'm not giving you one more life minute of mine, wasting it on thinking about what happened. And man, talk about freeing up headspace. That's like, that's like, you said cleaning out a closet. That's like cleaning out the entire house. Feng shui, inviting. Can't wait to sit in each room because there's like a great... There's maybe you got some uh, potpourri in there. You've got it all. You can, like, just one piece of simple art. That's what it does to the head. It just cleans it out and it's inviting where you want to be. And so, yeah, let it go. Let it go as much as possible. This is Kimberly Quinn. Where is he? A little Giovanni. Where'd he go? There he is. Signing off from the beautiful northern Vermont in 10 degree weather. Have a mindful day.